we're going to go to the tenth verse of him now. Number 29, we're going to come into a church by singing. Send the light.
change and thank you for viewing the services on live stream social media I do it in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you for, for staying with us we thank you for, for, for viewing and we, we, we welcome you always to be a part of our service so feel free while you're in the living room to stamp your hands to stamp your feet, clap your hands and make a joyful night unto the Lord we're going to sing for prayer I surrender all. After which, is 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 the is the two five four in the Pentecostal hymnal. Thank you. After which, I'm going to ask Elder Walter to to pray God's blessing on our service.
are the one that you receive for us. Oh God, we are saying yes and yes to your efforts. As we approach the mercy of you, Father, we come boldly to the throne of grace right now, Father. We come to lift up your name. We come to magnify your name. We come, oh God, to testify that Jesus said he keeps and he still satisfies. As we come this morning, oh God, with your mind made up. Lord God, we pray that your anointing will be here today. We pray that your Shekinah glory will overshadow us today. Oh, oh God, that when we have come to the end of the service, that it was good to be here. We pray, oh God, that you let everything be done in this and in all. Oh God, bless and remember our oh past and leader on today, oh God. We put him before you. But oh God, we pray that your presence will be with us. Let those who come, oh God, with expectation, oh God, that it will be fulfilled. Lord God, we pray that, oh God, your anointing will make a difference this morning. As we come, Lord God, help us. We look to you. For knowing that you are the author and the finisher of our prayer. Let your presence be felt. Let, oh God, someone come with sick, not feeling well, procrastinating in two decisions. But, oh God, help us to make up their mind today, oh God. That, oh God, they cry out to you. That heal, heal, heal. Oh God, to the Lord God Almighty. We pray, oh God, that you'll be with us, oh God, where we look to thee by faith and faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Oh,
is the rock of our salvation. There's a strong deliverer. Shelter in a time of storm. And so we want to greet you all today in the righteous name of Jesus. You may be seated. For God is good. And so we acknowledge those who are viewing and have joined us via live stream. We want to say thanks again. And we say welcome. I know if it were possible, you would try to be here. But we give God thanks. We want to give God thanks even today. Special thanks for the weather outside. Anybody want to bless God for the weather outside? Because this, the weather outside has nothing to do with our fire. Here. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying this. It, it, it might appear to be gloomy outside, but it's not gloomy inside here. Oh, inside here, it's, it, it, it's wonderful. Feel and bright. Fire, fire is burning inside here. So we give God thanks. One of that is our pastor is here. God bless your pastor. Want to meet you, everyone. So our visitors that are here today, again we say welcome, welcome, welcome. And so at this time, you know, um, we, the preacher is coming, but we're just going to get a short preaching from Elder Blake at this time. So let's receive Elder Blake in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Greetings to the of saints, elders, saints, my wife, greetings. In Jesus' name, I want to give God thanks. I want to say, like Isaiah the prophet, that when King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. I am lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Mm -hmm. There are sometimes hindrance in our life that stop us to see the evil. But this morning I can say, I'm seeing Jesus. Hallelujah. High and lifted up. I'm seeing Jesus as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I'm seeing Jesus exalted above the heavens. And I just want to praise him. He's been good to me. Hallelujah. I just can't explain the goodness of God. I say like David in Psalms 41. Now that I know that the Lord favors me, God bless you. So one man is Pastor Jackson with us today. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Let us stand everywhere. We stand for the preaching of the gospel. We have a young man who's going to preach the word of God today. And I was just checking that. He is actually the second, let me check, can you hear? Yes, he's the second newest member of this church. Because the newest member is Sister Shante. Can the church say amen? Yes. yes. <laughs> Sister Shante is the first. So he's the newest. And so we have the second newest member of this church who is going to bring forth the word of God today. Been saved a while. And he has been here, humbled himself. Don't fight with us for preaching, the good preacher. But he has stayed humble. And he's here practically every Sunday. So let's receive today with the word of God our second US member, Elder Vivian Talbot. Let's receive him in Jesus' name. <laughs> Greetings. Praise God. Praise Greetings. Lord. Greetings. 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 It's 
still a praise in the house this morning. You know, a lot of times when I come into settings like this, I've never said up there people praise the Lord. I'm not supposed to be telling Christians to praise the Lord. So I said, is there a hope? Is there a praise in the house this morning? Is there a praise in the house this morning? Hallelujah. My God, we just sing this song. He's worthy. You can sit down. I want to bring greetings to you this morning. And um, I know some people will get jealous. But Bishop, I am taking ownership of you, sir. Because you know why I'm taking ownership of Bishop? Because he makes me feel loved, he makes me feel welcome, he makes me feel appreciated. So from today you're my father. Amen. From today you're my father, I'm saying it publicly. Bishop Derek Smith, pastor of the Refuge Temple. The world is hearing, so you can't hide from me again. I want to bring greetings to the other elders. Elder Andrews, Elder Cal Calvin, and his wife, and the other elders. And I learned somebody else's name this morning, and I'm going to abuse it a little. I want to bring greetings to the Duke and the Duchess. <laughs> I don't know if you're a sister, but I know if you're not, you're most dead, don't you? Amen, amen, sir, amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. This morning, when Ella Calvin called me early on in the week, I said, do you have a topic or a scripture for me? He said, no, it's a lot. I said, Lord of mercy, you're sending down to me sick enough. But God is able. And I believe that God has a word for us. Because I said, God, I don't want you to give me the word. I want when I come up here, you give the brethren the word. Because a lot of times, we get caught up in studying the scriptures and don't realize that it is the Holy Ghost himself Amen. who gives a revelation. Amen. We read the scriptures and some of us read the Bible eight, nine, ten times, some of us never read it through before. It doesn't make a difference. It is God who brings the revelation. I want to read this morning. You know, sometimes these electronic things. <laughs> these electronic things share you sometimes. <laughs> All right. I want to read from Jeremiah chapter 1. I want to read from verse 4. It says, Then the word of God came unto me, this is Jeremiah speaking, saying, Before I was born, before I was formed, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest out from out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Then say that, how long, God, the old I cannot speak. That's all familiar. Amen. For I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not I am a child, for thou shalt go. All that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Amen. Whatsoever I shall command thee. Be not afraid of their faces. Oh, Lord of mercy. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. 
Let the Lord put forth his hand that touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my word in your mouth. Not our word. It's the Lord's word. See, I have this day set thee over nations and over kingdoms to root up, to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down. But God is not just destroying things. It's the verse ends it says, to build up and to plant. The name Jeremiah means the one who Jehovah appoints. Yeah. And we see God giving Jeremiah an appointment here. And like most of us, when the pastor calls us, go ahead, pastor, I can't preach. I can't leave prayer meeting. I can't do this because we have an impediment. But God is saying that your appointment is sure before you were born. My pastor back in Jamaica used to like you use this phrase. Before your mommy knew your daddy, yeah. you were appointed. Yeah. Before you were born, you were appointed. My testimony, I always like to tell people that the devil has been attacking me from I was in the womb. My mother spent five months in the hospital, and after I was born premature, I spent three more. So the enemy knows us. And before you were born, God has already selected you. We are not here by chance. None of us come here by chance. God has charted a course in our lives. God has set forth that course, and this is what I have called you to do. That is why when a lot of us run all over the place, we end up right back amen, in the church. Amen, 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 amen. I ran all over the place. I even ran to Selassie. All right. I even ran to Selassie. Selassie of God. And I ran to many different places in Jamaica. Amen. You don't know? Amen. Well, I'm going to read you a scripture. Everybody should know. That's right. Amen. I'm going to read you a scripture so you know you have authority. Luke 22, 29. Jesus said, I now appoint you kingdom, even as my father hath appointed me. Amen. I'm going somewhere with this. Jeremiah means the one who Jehovah, is a, Jehovah appoints. And I will want to challenge you to think of yourself today as of today as a present day Jeremiah because we have an appointment from the God of God. We have an appointment from the Lord of creation. We have a, an appointment from the King of Kings and the Lord of God. He said, even as my father appointed me, so I appoint you. So you have authority. That's why the scripture says there's death and life in the power of the tongue. You can speak life in the situation. You can speak death. Unfortunately, some of us speak death in the things we should be speaking. Life. Amen. And speaking life in the thing we should be speaking dead in. Oh, I can't do that. You have the authority. Amen. Don't kill it before you even try. You understand? So Jeremiah has received this appointment. We, as the servants of Christ, we as who call ourselves Christians, I said, look, call myself a Christian. <laughs> Don't stone me, please. I said, look, call myself a Christian. Because the word Christian carries a very bad connotation out there in the world. Amen. I tell people I'm a child of God. Yes, when I tell people I'm a Christian, they start at which church you go, which church you go, which. That's not important. Child God. It doesn't matter. God has his people all over the place, and it is God who selects them. Amen. Amen. Not you and I. Whether you like this church or don't like this church, God don't do anything with them. It is God's design. 
Twitter. Let me tell you something. It's scary when you realize the power and the authority you have in your life. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead abides in you. Amen. Amen. And I hear Bishop say something one day, and every time I think about it, it just resonates in my head. I want to say the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost so more like it has more punch. I'm not belittling the Holy Spirit. But it, that, that, that's just another name of saying the same thing. But the Holy Ghost seems to have a more punch when you tell a man about the Holy Ghost in Christ, fear and trembling inside of him. Amen, 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 amen. So we have now been appointed to do the same work that Jeremiah did. Let me just give you an example. We have to make sure I'm not watching that, you know. <laughs> and the public warned me. <laughs> you see, a lot of times we not work. We have managers and supervisors and other workers that just ride us. They just ride us. Sometimes we even resign. Sometimes we leave the world because we just cannot take them. <clears throat> you have the power and the authority to deal with that. Amen. 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 You have the power and the authority to speak life into that situation. Don't speak evil in the person's life. Amen. 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 You don't speak evil in the person's life. You speak death in the situation. When a man waves, please the Lord, even his enemies will be at peace with him. That's the word there. That. That's the authority you have to speak life into the situation. So that God might be glorified. Believe it or not, and this might sound spooky to some people, but you might just be able to speak salvation into that person's life. Amen, amen. Come on, people looking at the light and speaking. You have the authority to speak. Amen. Plant and build. Those are part of our responsibilities as, 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 as children of God. Because you see, there is, well, I've been buying a lot of scripture here because. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Second Peter 1 4. Because you see what happened. What is happening is that because of a lack of us listening to God. Because I don't believe it is the preaching that we don't hear. Because I'm here probably about what? Six, about six months? Amen, amen. And I've heard very, very solid words. And it does not have anything to do with the age of the person that is up here or the gender. So the word is here. The preaching of the word is here. A lot of times it is us that are not receiving and taking hold of the word, taking hold of the food that you are fed. And if you are not taking hold of the food you are fed, it simply means that you are going to be spiritually weak. Any little thing will blow you over. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But when you take hold of the word of God, and that word becomes the foundation of your very being, because in him we live and move and have our being. The essence of who we are is in the word of God, Jesus Christ is the word. But listen to what? Second Peter. Whereby we are given to us a 
exceedingly great and precious promises of which I had the time to go into the world. Some of those promises. Amen. That by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Divine nature. <laughs> I wonder if we understand what that oh, phrase is saying to us. We become partakers of the very essence, the very Godness oh, yes. of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. 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 We share in it. Yes, amen. amen. We live in him. We move in him. We have our being of our essence. That's right, that's right. Is it him because we are partakers of his divine nature, the very Godness of Jesus Christ? Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. So I am like God. Oh yes, sir. Oh yes. Thank you, Jesus. So therefore, I should be able. All confidence. If I understand the reality or if I get a glimpse of the reality of where I live, where my essence live, and who I am really, I should be able to speak to any situation. Amen. And you don't have to worry about making mistakes. You know? amen, amen, amen. Because if you that scripture that I just love this one you know. Delight thyself in the Lord and he will give you the very the very the very the very the very desires of your heart so you don't have to worry the desire the wrong thing because if the spirit of God is in control then he will show you say come on that one is wrong Amen, amen, amen. This one is wrong. Amen. You won't have to worry about that. But we spend more time worrying to live righteous than being righteous. Amen, amen. That our responsibility is to be and remain in Christ. Amen. Therefore, we have no problem. Oh, let me put a word of caution. That is not going to say the enemy is not going to come at you Amen. and try to whip you. That is not going to say you know, the human part is not going to have problems. Because 1 Corinthians 13 tells us that we live in part. We know in part. Oh, yes. Only part. Only part. But then, when that which is good is come. Hallelujah. Read 1 Corinthians, which is known as the love chapter. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. But the reality is that as partakers of the divine nature of God himself, we become like him. Amen. Amen. We don't become God. Amen. Let me be careful about that. We don't become God. We become like him. We become what he designed us to be. Let us make man in our own image and in our own likeness. We become like him because that was what he created us for. To become like him. Unfortunately, sin came in here and messed things up. But you know, while I'm on that section, and you know one of the most beautiful things for me is that right at that very moment, God made a decision for our salvation. When he spoke about the, 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 the devil, he said, his head will be crushed. That's our salvation. Our salvation. So we have authority even over the devil. Just this morning I hear somebody say the devil is a liar. Amen. The devil speaks something still and sometimes it's very convincing, you know. Yeah. Let me tell you how fear is and daring the devil is. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. 
There is no question of it. He must press his Lord. Amen, sister? Full stop. But then, the devil with the fear fears show ourselves coming up quote the scriptures. <laughs> Jesus is the word. Yeah. And the devil tried to quote scripture to the word. <laughs> if it's a fear fears adhering to the Lord of glory, what will he try on you? You gotta be vigilant. You gotta be vigilant. You gotta be vigilant. And, and, and you know the funny thing? The scriptures he was quoting were not incorrect enough. They were correct. But the problem was the motive. The motive behind what he was quoting was what was incorrect. So the devil will come to you, and he will come to you with the scripture. Oh, you get a revelation. Oops. I hear about some people who get some, get some revelations, you know. But then when the revelation burns itself out. You understand it? So basically what we are doing now is that we have escaped the corruption that is in this world that was created because of love. We have escaped this corruption because we now partake of the divine nature of God himself. So therefore, light and darkness cannot cohabit at the same place. You understand me? Sweet and sour food cannot bear on the same tree. No, sir. Amen, amen, amen. So basically, we have to understand that the authority that God has given us once we name the name of the Lord is an authority that is a heavenly authority. Yes. An authority that gives us ability and power beyond our wildest dreams. Amen. Why do you believe? Why do you believe? Why do you believe? I wish I had time to read. Um, I hear Pastor encouraging you guys to write notes. First Corinthians 2, 9 and 10 and Mark 4, 11 where Jesus talks about the world, I speak to the world through parables, but you are made to know the revelation of God. You know why you are made to know the revelation of God? Because you are part of God. You are part of himself. He said, I no longer call you servants, but I call you brothers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you a friend? Friend. Our friend. Yes, sir. You understand me? So therefore, we have to understand that the things of God to us are precious. They are important. They are powerful. They are dynamic. What are the words used in, in, in to describe the, the coming of the Holy Ghost? Pentecost is a word Dunamis. Dunamis is the is the, the, the root word that we get dynamite from. It is also the root word that we get dynamo. Dynamo is the central core device that creates electricity. All right, there you go. Yes, sir. Now, if we have that kind of power. Come on. Come on. God has created in us that very special part of him that we can live and be successful here on this earth. 
God has given us the ability to speak death Amen. and to speak life Amen. into situations and circumstances. God has given us the ability to tear down Amen. ungodly things. Amen. What I've noticed here in America, and it is fast becoming the same thing in Jamaica, I won't I hope I'm not stepping over the line here, is that a certain group of people have hijacked the church. The church cannot quote them out and say what they need to say anymore or quote the scripture anymore. But these, this group of people can say anything about the church. They burn the Bible, can say anything about the church. The fierce church signs and all that kind of thing. And the church cannot quote certain scripture anymore. But we are the ones who have power. Amen. We are the ones, we are the ones who have authority. Amen. We are the Amen. ones who God said, I give you the power and authority to tear down and to build up, Amen. to destroy and to plan. Come on, Christians. In closing, I just want to encourage us. When God was creating the world, he created everything. When he was, when he was going to create the fish, he went to the sea. He created the fish for the little sea. When he wanted to create plants and animals, he went to the land. But when he was going to create man, he went to himself. When God was creating man, he came to himself and he said, let us make man. Let us make man. When he created all the other things, he spoke them into being. Amen. But when it came time for man, Amen. he came down. First love, first love. He came down. And he made a special interest. He made it personal. It's not let there be light or let there be animals anymore. This is man after my own likeness and my own image. Now I'm going to make sure that this one is done good. So therefore, brethren, we have a chance now, here and now, to recognize and realize what God has told us to do. To come alive. Come alive. Come alive. And stand firm. And use the authority.
we confess our faults, God. We confess our weaknesses. We confess our stubbornness. Because, Father, we have heard your voice. We have heard your word. And so today, God, brand new start. Yes, God, brand new start today. I will be who you want me to be. Yes, I am a son of God. I am a child of the king. That's who I am. Father, we're not hide anymore. You must be courage to be born to declare the said the Lord. Father, there's somebody here I'll never be. I'll never be healed. But today, we pray in the name of Jesus that God will grant healing. There's some who say, I will never get a good job because of my qualification. All of this we can trust before you today. Work on our behalf. Yes, God, work on our behalf. We are who you say we are. Yes, my God. And so, Lord, we do so boldly. Thanks for the word. Thanks for the word. Thanks for the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Give me my way. I'm a bad kid. Give me my way. Yeah. 
in his life sometimes he say, you know, that, that's my husband. You know, that, that's my wife. That's my son. And that's, you know, and we say, look, today I, 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 I'm just saying, I, I, I am his. I'm just saying this, you know, I am his. And it's a wonderful feeling to be his.
I'm sorry. I'm calling. Now this makes me weak sometimes. And I give God thanks for my young my mother's sister. And all you have to do in this coming up, you must very hard to give something to somebody that they will always look at it and I can not and it's my sister here. God has God has given me a time to live. And as of the time to Pray, sing in my house, and I talk to her and I counsel her, and when you are on your foot, and you have good Uh, to say opportunity yeah. amen, 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 amen. to do something to God to glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wait a while. I see the captain coming. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And he would, he's, a, he, he, he's very, 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 uh, uh. he tell you when he was, and he tell you if you are walking in the place it to be walked. He is a man. No, look at this. This, this, this no big that he. But he been in one way. He is a man that tell you what you want to hear on yourself. And you yourself always see. And anything that he wants to say, God bless him. And God bless this is not same son.
Excuse me, sir. Huh? No, I need a lot. Oh, I'm not done. I need you again. Praise the Lord. Yes, my blessed person. I need you. I don't care what it is, but not for me. Right, I can wait. Never leave church before you get a vision. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you don't make an appointment on Sunday, it's God's day. Amen. Amen. All right. I'm just telling you. Amen. 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 I'm just telling you. Amen. And then you'll be more like me. Amen. You'll be praying. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know you, you know, you don't have a right. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yes, put it up for you, let me. Whereby, um, Jeremiah, they look at it from a chariot, from his womb, in his mother's womb, God called him. And you were called out your life, every one of you. You may not hold a mic, but you have a call in your life. It is for you to know what is your call. Amen. It's not just to find a nice home, a nice husband, a nice car. Make a nice family is more than that. Amen. All of that is good. Amen. But you have to find out what take him out for uh, the will of God for your life. Two things, amen, praise, purpose and destiny, amen, you're created for. And so, look what he says here. He said, whereby I have given to who? To who? And the, 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 the song said, every letter in the what? The book is mine. Praise God. Amen. To us. Nothing exceeding. But go ahead. Great. 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 Exceeding great. And precious. Great. Not promising them. But promises. What are those promises? The other ten say you don't have time to get them in. Praise God. And that's why you know something. I have a, I have a chip on my, my, my shoulder. Amen. Amen. And, and if it's on my shoulder, it's on my heart. I'm proud to be a Christian. Amen, amen, I'm proud to be God. I hope my child of God. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm proud to represent him. Amen, Everywhere amen. I go, I want the world to, to know oh, that yes. I'm a child of God, but I'm not going to tell you when you're seeking me. Yeah. I'm not going to walk and tell about God. I'm a preacher. I don't even tell nobody that. Amen. But I want you to ask me. I, 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 I want my light to shine amen. so you can see. Amen. 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 So I can tell you about hope. That is in Christ Jesus. Great and precious one. Promises that. But by, by, by these, he might be partakers of what? Look at it. Not in the flesh. Got to walk in the spirit. Divine nature. Amen. 
uh, having escaped. You know what is in the world? The Bible is just showing people what will corruption, but the lust of the world, or what is going on. And I think I heard it, Ellis, or something from the church is quiet. We're too quiet with the mess that's going on. You know, you know the, the man sit beside you, you know he's a when the woman is sit beside you know who they look, don't partake. I, I, I hate this sin, I love you, but I hate this sin, I'm not gonna part. I, if I know you are so, I'm not gonna eat from you. If I know you, you are so so I'm not gonna ride in your car. Amen. The church must be different. Amen. We call to be different. You know, I'm praying for these younger ones. I'm praying for you, ladies. You come up into a world which they hate God. That's why you can't be friendly with the world. You cannot be friendly with the world. If you're friendly with the world, it's like you're sleeping with their life. Some folks are like, you know, praise God, but I can tell you how it is. Praise God. Having escaped the corruption. the corruption that is in where? The world. It is in the world. Don't read it in the church. Right. It is in the what? Amen. 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 Praise God. Uh, uh, true what? Love. True lust. I love that. Man, I wish you had time to be able to do it. Praise God. Amen. Put your hands together for the man of God. <laughs> I didn't certify you the first time I hear you. Amen. But I certify you know I have time to listen to you because I find that you can be so <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So we thank God for the word of God. Put your hand together for the word of God. Amen. You know, I know you want to go and daddy want to go, but when the police stop you, you hold your mouth up. Amen. Praise the Lord. We want to thank God for the saints from Amen. Send Peter. Put your hand together for the Lord. We are working on it together. Praise God for the folks here. We are asked to bring in your stuff. Praise God. Amen. You know, if you notice, uh, um, you notice that I don't have one offering for for um, Brooklyn anymore. One for I mean for Brooklyn don't want to go. Amen. I, I mean they put the the name of the church and the name on on the envelope. Amen. Because we are one. We are one. Amen. Praise the Lord. If they suffer, we suffer. If they're strong, we're strong. Amen. We rejoice and we rejoice. Amen. We are one in Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And so right now, the other man is going through. And so we just like to make it. Just I'm going to hurt you right now. So we're praying and we're hoping that when you actually do your best, praise God. Amen. So that, amen, they can be helped. Those that need help. Amen. Praise the Lord. So bring the good stuff. Amen? Amen. See, Sister Matthew, see, who who stand? Who who? Who who? It's representing. Yes. And, and the lady, the, 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 what do you call her? The Duchess. Duchess. Amen. Back there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anybody else has it? Amen. And the Matthews, praise God. And everyone. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. I you come back the next service, I know, but I should ask you. Was to say thanks to the, the enemy in the first service, but because the baptism and what I did. So quickly, we had to come and, amen, praise God. But we can check and say thanks because uh, this is your last Sunday, right? Yes. Do you want to come, please? Amen. I wish I could hold you, but, amen. But Pastor Blake, I'll give you the privilege to keep you here. So, if any of the Father. Amen. 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 My intention was to do my COVID test for my flight on Tuesday, so that's why I'm not going to outside. My apologies. My apologies. I'm sorry. Praise the Lord. Um, it is indeed a privilege to have stayed here with you guys. Um, I, you guys have blessed me more than I can tell. Praise Jesus. The youth department, I cannot stop saying it is epic. Praise Jesus. And I have taken their wallet keeper and I have given it to them at home. So we have our own wellness keeper program going. And I, that's, I'm just very and so I learned a lot of stuff from the youth department, and I'm just borrowing them to, to my church back home. But I thank you for having me, and thank you, Bishop, 
It was it is a privilege. I love you guys so, so, so much. That unity that you guys have. Continue to keep it. Continue to keep it. I mean, I, I remember telling a friend that this trip, I have so many numbers of the saints. And we pray together. And we fellowship together. Not many churches have that. So keep on keeping on. I'm praying for me. I'm a husband. Amen, Bishop. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If my son did marry already, I will post him. Hallelujah. Yes. I, I have good eyes. One that I have. Oh, I can see another one, but I respect him for a good person. Yeah. And any, any young man, any young man who wants to get in the way of God, amen, pick up somebody like you, and take somebody like you, they will make it. Praise the Lord. And I want to say to you, keep on toe your line. Don't go look for a husband. Let him look for you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, you have fought your life. So that means you got to hide yourself. So let him find you. Amen. Any young man, see any woman posting on the same one around you. You say run. No walk, but run. Because you must find him. Amen. I got my Bible talking. That's what I said. It's what Bible said. He that find it. Amen. So don't go push yourself. Up. Preach, Pastor. Preach. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And what you're looking for is somebody to, amen, to go in the same direction. Don't look for looks and hips. And, amen. Look for somebody to talk to God and have God and have their mission. That's what you need. But you look for hips today. Let her ride your jeans. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Praise God. And, and, and don't go ask nobody, you like her? You like this? Oh, come on, whatever. Preach up inside here, man. Preach God. Amen. So God bless you, man. Your husband, God has him somewhere. And he's going to find you. Amen. Praise God. Put your hands together, Father. Yes. The are going to serve this Lord, so you're going to go. Yes, man, you can send me back there. We don't miss you, but we know that this is your church when you when you come back. U.S. member, Pastor. Amen. US Amen. Praise God. I, I know that Pastor Letty is very bright. You know when people come from your church or, or come from somewhere and make you do things and make you feel better? Yeah. Are you ever working on a job, invite somebody to come and they come and make you feel better? Yeah. Oh, yes. Praise God. We are proud of you, man. Praise God. And we wish we could hold you. Amen. I wish I had a strong man in here. All right, that's good. <laughs> All right, Pastor. Strong man. I didn't say weak man, I said strong. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody feel like worshiping? <laughs> one thing, one thing, everybody. <laughs> you know, you know, I've been still ever coming to the best that God for me. I'm a little more mature. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm starting to learn. Does this church look nice? Yeah. I'm going to have a birthday and a strip day. All right. And so you're going to come to learn. Come, come to the neighbor. And so this neighbor is good. Amen. Amen. Happy Amen. birthday to the neighbor. To all the youngest. Praise God. God. To all the youngest sisters. Amen. Amen. And, and, and I'm not going to tell you her age, I know, but I'm going to tell you. Pretty good age. God bless you for that. Amen. Come to bless God bless you. Praise God. Amen. At the count, at the count, I mean, one, two, three, come on. Happy birthday to you.
what cards, please, and pick it. Give me there. Somebody pass the word for me. Let me give them a birthday card. God bless you. Put your hands together. <laughs> Sorry, young man. I thought it was you who were taking your lady, but you didn't. Say it was her, so my apologies to her. God bless you. Thanks. What up, Mr. Adams? May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. God bless you as you go in Jesus' name. Amen.